With the rise of Hindu nationalism in India and their strong relationship with Israel And Israel loves Bollywood. I love Bollywood. We want Bollywood in Israel. Is there a conspiracy to take down the Khans of Bollywood? One of the big crisis points is going to be the Khan crisis, okay? That they are simply not as potent as they were five years ago. I'm saying that these Khans are finished. Khan charm that we all talk about, you know, that seems to be a bit fading. And what's that got to do with Kashmir? I'm a Tijenia. <laughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. This video took a lot of research and a lot of time so don't forget to hit that like button, share it and definitely do spread the message. With the recent lockdown and violence in Kashmir by India, it's raised a lot of questions about India's leadership by the international media. Namely, how can someone be that heartless? Aren't those pajamas a little too tight? And I wonder what Shah Rukh Khan thinks about this. All valid questions, but as ridiculous as the last one sounds, there's actually a lot of truth to it. Because Bollywood is the biggest film industry on the planet in terms of tickets sold and movies produced per year. In fact, the Bollywood celebrities literally get worshipped. And the Prime Minister Narendra Modi knows this a little too well. The BJP have infiltrated Bollywood and as a result have infiltrated India. They have their own members as presidents of the Film and TV Institute, they have members on the censor board, they have small groups like Shiv Sena and MNS, no not you guys, who act as thugs silencing anyone who says something negative about the country or shows any sympathy to Pakistanis by interrupting movie releases and even threats. For example, yeah, with Shah Rukh Khan, he had to visit them to ensure the smooth release of his film Rais. Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan on Sunday met Maharashtra Navnirman Sena's chief Raj Thakre at his residence in Mumbai. The meeting that took place in the evening assumes significance as Mr Khan's upcoming film Rais which features the Pakistani actress Mahira Khan. On another incident, he mentioned that Pakistani cricket players should be allowed to play in the league and got battered for it. Theatres across Mumbai have pulled up posters of Shah Rukh Khan's latest film My Name is Khan. Allegedly after coming under pressure from the Shiv Sena for making these remarks for backing participation of Pakistani players. In another instance, he made a small comment about the rise of intolerance. And again got battered for it nationwide. Adityanath continues to be defined after he compared Shah Rukh Khan to terrorist Hafiz Saeed, the defined BJP leader. In Gorakhpur, Shah Rukh's putle was thrown away and Murdabad was thrown away. इलाहाबाद में शाहरुख के लिए भारत छोड़ो के नारे लगे चढ़ते सूरज के साथ दिलवाले के खिलाफ गुस्सा शहर दर शहर बढ़ता गया रिलीज के पहले से ही बीजेपी दिलवाले का विरोध कर रही थी शाहरुख खान लिव्स इन इंडिया बट हिज हार्ट इज इन पाकिस्तान आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट राइट नाउ वी आर इनटॉलरेंट आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि देयर इज अ प्रॉब्लम लेट्स मूव ऑन टू आमिर खान he spoke out against modi फॉर द गुजरात मैसिकर एंड हिज मूवी फना लिटरली गॉट बैंड अगेन ही स्पोक आउट अगेंस्ट द डैम and his movie Tare Zameen Par was affected. He also spoke out against intolerance and how his wife thinks of moving. His career was literally shaken to the core to such a degree that there was a public award for slapping him and people telling him to move to Pakistan even though he didn't even mention the country. He also made a movie called Thugs of Hindustan in which pretty much all the lead characters were Muslim and he got berated for it. So, to play it safe, Amir Khan met with Modi, shared pictures, and despite not usually attending award ceremonies, he attended the one that was hosted by the extremist party RSS. Let's move on to Salman Khan. When Salman spoke positively about working with Pakistani actors, he also got battered for it. His production house was targeted. We have that uh, authentic confirmed news. That some agencies were hired to just to pan down. Really? Yeah. Salman Khan brand ko kill karna hai, usko khatam karna hai. It was. 
कि अगर सलमान खान को पाकिस्तानी कलाकारों से इतना ही प्यार इतनी ही मोहब्बत है तो वो खुद भी पाकिस्तान चले जाए टू प्ले सैफ ही रिमूव्ड सॉन्ग बाय पाकिस्तानी सिंगर आतिफ असलम फ्रॉम अ मूवी दैट वॉज मेड बाई हिज प्रोडक्शन हाउस टू अवॉइड कंट्रोवर्सी एंड ही मेट विद मोदी टू कीप थिंग्स स्वीट In 2018 Salman was set to release a movie called Love Ratri which was a play on the Hindu celebration of Navratri There were threats made by Hindu mobs to burn down the cinemas the set and hurt Salman because they found the title offensive Jo bhi Salman Khan ko marega jaise Leela Bansali ko mara hai jaise iske bhi koi jahan bhi set lage usme aag lagayega usko 2 lakh ka puraskar Govind Parasat dega Now this eventually forced him to change it to Love Yatri. Other actors have also paid the price. Sonam Kapoor, the daughter of Anil Kapoor, she mentioned her sadness with regards to the situation in Kashmir and how she had Pakistani Muslim friends and a Pakistani lineage. That was a mistake and she got battered for it. Works by major Pakistani artists have been removed from T series. and the pakistani artists have been banned from working in the country you also had karan johar who also had a pakistani actor and he also paid the price you are questioning them you have you are some completely politically bankrupt you are bankrupt as a person you are bankrupt mentally and you need to check in into an asylum bomb care said intolerance is only for people who travel with bodyguards and it's nothing about and it's nothing but a joke to call india intolerant So it's clear from all this that there is indeed growing intolerance and a rise of Hindu extremism. But you can't say it no matter who you are. You need to show absolute loyalty to the state. I am not saying that right now we are intolerant. I am not saying that there is a problem or I think you know I'll I'll follow what the government of India says. In this supposed democracy, we champions freedom of speech. Actors have been told by the prime minister to make patriotic movies. and those who are like akshay kumar are doing really well in 2018 he overtook shahrukh khan as the fourth highest paid actor on the planet patriotic movies are being promoted heavily and being made to seem appealing to producers for example you can see the latest one uri is doing really well in fact it's on the number 2 spot Those actors who are seen to be promoting the BJP are doing well in the movie in- industry. This could be posting selfies with Modi or even the Israeli prime minister or even joining Modi's party. Probably recognize some of these. And of course there are more. There was even a movie made on Modi in election time and interviews by Bollywood stars to help boost his image. So despite 2018 being a flop year for the Khans, this whole talk of removing them doesn't really make sense to me because is there any point in removing them? I mean they they don't really seem like a threat anymore to be honest. Suddenly this year because there have been one or two films with these lead actors that haven't performed, suddenly there's this theory They have to live in the country, they have to work in the industry, so they're going to have to play the game. And the fact that there are bad role models for Muslims, I mean let's face it, the only thing Muslim about them is their name. They're not practicing and nor do they ever claim to be practicing. But considering Hindu nationalism is still rising, their link with Israel is becoming very strong. We're putting our money where our mouth is. They might just think that rather than having the khans at the top they might just be better off having their own at the top but whether they're there or they're not there the rise of extremism needs to be stopped no matter where it is so will anybody stand up to the current government can anybody stand up to them will someone put their humanity in front of their career and their money some are of course taking a stand and hopefully the indians will loosen the grip that the celebrities have on them so they can think for themselves and without looking through the prism of hate we pray that this happens and we pray for the people of Kashmir and the people of India until next time assalamu alaikum